G'day guys, Skits here, and welcome to episode 10 of my FIFA 12 Manager Mode commentary. Just quickly, I wanted to say a huge thanks for you guys for all the support up until, you know, episode 10. I actually didn't think this series would go this far, but anyway, our first game for this game, for this episode, sorry, is a game against Fulham in the League Cup. Um, as you can see, I'm playing a very standard squad here. No changes whatsoever made to the team. Uh, in terms of stamina, there are a few players that are kind of lacking, but it doesn't matter too much. Uh, so it is a game against Fulham, and uh, at this point, you know, it, it is good to try and beat a team like Fulham. Uh, as you can see, they start really nicely here. Ruiz really probably should have finished that away because uh, really poor defense here. Then we, we managed to kind of hit back with a few more chances here, as you can see. I uh, hit the crossbar, sorry, hit the post, which was pretty unlucky there. I always seem to hit the post. I don't know what it is. Uh, and then, you know, we, we keep on pushing on here. We get pretty unlucky um, until finally a nice little ball to, ball to McFadden who finishes it really nicely. I'm really happy with, it, uh, with our new formation. You know, having two strikers just adds a lot of depth to our attacking squad. And a really nice turn there from McFadden and then just smashes into the bottom corner. Really nice little finish there. Uh, then they hit back straight after with such a good cross to uh, lead to this Johnson goal. Really nice volley as well, actually. Um, keeper couldn't do anything about it. A bit of poor defense there. No one was really marking him, but nonetheless, still a really good finish. Uh, so the half ends at 1-1, and uh, it's pretty, been a pretty even match. I mean, we've had a fair few chances, which, I mean, unfortunately, we did at the post. So uh, at this point, I, I really wanted to get this, this, this victory. Uh, I took two players off. I took Essien and McFadden off. Uh, for Barclay and S. I really want Barclay to start getting a bit more match experience because I think he's got a lot of potential. Then they start really well in the 55th minute there. What a finish there from Clint Dempsey. Uh, once again, a bit of poor defense there. No one really had him marked, but then just an awesome turn to uh, just completely destroy that. <laughs> like, I mean, he just destroyed a whole defense. And then Nikita Jelovic, I mean, who else but him? to hit back straight after they scored with such a beautiful goal there. Uh, Diara playing uh, like not even the best ball to him. I mean, it was pretty hard. He had to turn it and then just, you know, brings it up to outside of the um, goal line and then just, sorry, outside of the penalty box and then just smashes it. So I'm really happy with that goal. That was a really nice goal there. Um, and then the game, unfortunately, ends at 2-2. So that means we will be playing a replay of this game, which is a bit of a shame, but nonetheless, it was still a good game. And I'm um, happy to see Jelovic score that really nice goal. So, um, yeah, that means we will be playing a, a replay, and I'm probably going to show that in this episode. It's going to be quite a long episode. Uh, so anyway, our next game is a game away to Aston Villa. As you can see, um, they've actually done pretty well so far in this in this season, which is kind of surprising because they're not doing very well in real life. Um as you can see, I think they have bought a few players, but I mean, they haven't made any ma massive changes. They've just been playing quite well. I mean, they did lose 3-0 to Chelsea, so that, that does say a lot about them. So it would be nice if I can get three points from this game. Um, so as you can see here, just to have a look at the table, I just decided to show you guys here. Um, at the moment, we are in a pretty comfortable third position there, uh, just behind Liverpool. Uh, sorry, just in front of Liverpool. And, uh, you know, we want to keep this position so that Champions Cup can be an option. But as you can see, they start really nicely just in the eighth minute. I mean, they, I've got to say, they were hard customers to keep out. They, they were really pushing on. And here they do get a finish, uh, a goal. I mean, I wasn't playing well at all this game. They've really dominated me throughout a lot of this game. As you can see there, just a nice little... Um, shot there, which just deflected up to Benton, who finishes it very easily. Uh, then we, you know, after that, we kind of did start making a few more chances here. Um, I don't know what happened there. I have no idea how, how McFadden managed to do that, but unfortunately, uh, nothing was really made of it. Essien has a shot, you know, not really str um, struggling the keeper at all here. And then, you know, they, they keep pushing on, and then they get a uh, very, very close opportunity there. They really probably should have tucked that away. Uh, and then, you know, we keep on pushing on here. Nothing really convincing for us. The half ends at 1-0 to them. Um, really haven't been convincing at all throughout this whole half. We've just been playing really badly, i got to say. Uh, so, you know, at the moment, three points isn't looking like a, a big option. I started to make two changes. I took Diara and Pina off for Drentha and uh, G. I just, I'm just going to call him G. I can't pronounce his name. Uh, just to see if they could do anything, but straight from the corner, straight from the start of the half. Um, Collins, I think he's actually a defender, gets a really, really nice head of it goal there to make it 2-0. And at this point, you know, I, I decided to go basically all out attack because, I mean, I really wanted at least one point from this game. Um, but, you know, Aston Villa definitely have outplayed me up to this point. And then, you know, they keep on making chances here. Um, I'm really just not playing well at all at, at this point in the game. We really should have scored this. I mean, what the hell are you doing, Jelovic? I mean, the one game that he decides not to perform, it's an important game. So, really not doing too well at this point. Jelovic, once again, underperforming, really not making the most of his opportunities there. Really not a good shot at all. Um, here, you know, still making some chances in the 82nd minute. But, unfortunately, the game ends at 2-0 to Aston Villa, which is a huge shame. You know, losing points to a team like Aston Villa, I mean, they're an alright team, but... At this point in the in the in the um, 
season, we really need to start, you know, getting guaranteed three points. Uh, luckily, we still have um, kept our third position. Aston Villa are actually tying with at the moment. Uh, we do have Liverpool, City, and Chelsea all, you know, kind of very nearing behind us. Aston Villa have taken quite a huge gap lead. I mean, United are near near them. Uh, but anyway, just to look at the calendar, um, as you can see, uh, we've already played two episodes in this episode, two games in this episode. We've got Blackburn and uh, Fulham still to play. Then we've got a transfer deadline game right at the end of it. Uh, and then, as you can see, next month is going to be quite a big month. We've got, you know, three huge games. Uh, but anyway, guys, our next game is a home game against Blackburn. Uh, Blackburn aren't a very good team at all. I mean, they, they've gotten a few decent players. They've got Yakubu, who's an alright player, but they've got two uh, suspensions and injuries. So, I mean, really, this shouldn't be a hard game at all. Uh, we're basically playing the same lineup as usual, just because um, our team is working pretty well. I mean, I decided to put on Anichibi instead of um, McFadden, just to give him a bit of a run. Uh, we start pretty nicely here with not the most convincing shot from Yelvich, i got to say. Um, but, you know, we keep making opportunities here, and um, unluckily, we just we just can't finish at this point. Uh, then they get a chance of their own here, and uh, they actually take it. I was just so surprised at that. Um, you know, I was basically pushing on throughout the whole game, and then it gets a really nice little chip over um, Howard there. Really nice goal there. And at this point, I'm thinking, I'm not dropping three points to Blackburn. So I decided to go basically all out attack. And straight away, it works very well with Jelovic. What an awesome goal that was from him. I mean, last episode, last game, sorry, he tried to do a similar thing and missed it. But that time, just buries it into the top corner. I don't think their keeper was expecting him to go that way. In fact, I wasn't either really expecting him to score that one. But a really, really well finished goal there from Jelovic. He's just been so prolific for us. Uh, and then there, really nothing too special there from NHB. Just He's not the best player, I've got to say. Here he gets another chance here. I decided to just sweaty pass it across the S in, which are very very easy finish. I know you guys might not like seeing those goals like that, but uh, in this game, I really wanted to win it. I felt as though I should not lose, you know, I should not drop any points to a team like Blackburn. So, just decide to sweaty goal it across to Essien, who finishes it, you know, in a, in a typical clinical way. Then, you know, they, they nearly actually equalize again in the 43rd minute, but the half ends at 2-1 to us. Uh, it's been quite a good game, i got to say. I mean, they've played much better than I expected. As you can see, Arsenal are up 1-0 against Manchester United, which isn't actually really a good thing, because we really don't want Arsenal to go too far in front of everyone. I decided to uh, get Barclay, oh, sorry, Barkley on for our Gibson. Uh, once again, I really want Barkley to start, you know, getting some performance in there and luckily a few lucky little deflections there leads to this Diara gets it what a cross this is and then Anichibi with a pretty easy header goal but what an awesome cross there from Diara I was really happy with that uh, Diara has probably been the, the player of the episode so far he's done some really important work for us uh, really nice finish there as well I gotta say I mean, you know, it wasn't too hard at all, but not, still, nonetheless, a nice little goal there uh, to put us up 3-1. And at this point, you know, I'm thinking, you know, we can really just start, you know, scoring more and more. Uh, at this point, you know, I make two more substitutions, uh, Essien and Pina, the usual guys who always seem to run out of stamina, uh, just because they're kind of a little bit old, so they're both them about 28. Uh, and then here, I get a very, very careless penalty. I always seem to give away dumb penalties like that, and good willy to step up and take it and score in the 90th minute. It's just a consolation goal, and the game ends as 3-2. Pretty convincing for us. I mean, it should have been 3-1 if I didn't give away that dumb penalty. So, yeah, I was happy enough to get the three points from that game, and much needed three points to be completely honest, you know, just to keep up with the guys like, you know, Arsenal, City, and all those kind of guys. So, as you can see here, um, Liverpool actually have beat, beat Tottenham uh, in the first leg, that is. So, that is quite a, quite a big game for them. So, it looks as though we might be playing Liverpool in the final if we do get in the final. So, here's the replay against Fulham. Um, obviously, last game it was 2-2. I play a very similar squad, as you can see. Um, I decided to keep Anichibi up front um, instead of McFadden just because he's been playing quite well as of late and I wanted to keep his performance levels up. Um, and so yeah, this is quite an important game. I really want to advance to the finals because I really wouldn't mind winning this League Cup. Anyway, as usual, Fulham start the better of, of the two squads here. I can't believe that, that Johnson just seems to make such good use of every single cross he gets to him. Um, I don't know what it's about him, but uh, to make it 3-2 on aggregate to them, and I mean, I didn't make any really chances apart from that one I showed there, so it's 1-0 to Fulham, 3-2 on aggregate. But uh, yeah, guys, keep in mind the whole aggregate rule. Basically, what it means is the game from before uh, joins up to this game, so the same score uh, kind of applies to this game. So uh, they are 3-2 up, and uh, as you can see, Baxter, I took Baxter on for uh, Anichibi because Anichibi was low on stamina, and he wasn't performing at all. And I mean, watch this run here from Pina. So he starts from right at the edge, and you'd expect him to cross it in, but he just decides to take it himself, and what a finish that is. Just the 49th minute. That is just an amazing finish there. 
uh, to put it 1 all and 3-3 uh, on aggregate, I believe. But what a finish that is. Just a beautiful goal. But Fulham are still... Uh, at this moment, they are going to uh, advance because of aggregate rule. And then, just to my annoyance, they score again to really secure their position at the moment because, I mean, at this point, you know, they're, they're, we need at least two goals to be uh, contending with them. So they're 4-3 up. If I score one more goal, it's still going to be level. Uh, so, you know, it's going to be very tough from here on end. Uh, but as you can see here, some very lucky, um, kind of bit of a lucky deflection. Very unlucky from their defender. Baxter takes the, the most of it. And happy to see the substitution make immediate uh, damage here. As you can see, a nice little well-taken finish there, to be honest. To put it 4-4, and at the moment now, it's going to advance to extra time if the game ends like this. So um, at this point, I was thinking, you know, I think we can definitely win this game. So we keep making chances here. And then, I mean, a bit of an unlucky shot there from Jelovic. We get a cross in, and Duffy is there to execute. It, to make it, I think, 5-4 on aggregate, which is a pretty crazy um, score, to be honest. And look at that finish. Really nice, uh, really well done there from Duffy just to put it in. So at this point, um, even if they score a goal, it's still going to go uh, my way. I'm still going to win the game, even if they do score a goal. Uh, but, you know, I figured they're not going to score another goal. If anything, it's going to be me. I keep making chances here. Some really great saving from Schwartz there, I believe, was in goals. And uh, unfortunately, it was offside. But some really, he made two really good saves there. And the game ends as 5-4 in aggregate what a crazy game that was uh three two was the actual score for just for this game but what a crazy game that was um i'm really really well happy to be able to advance the final so it will be i think against um liverpool so that's going to be definitely a tough game as you can see i've earned a little bit of reputation here uh as as a manager which i'm happy with because i mean we have had a fair few pretty decent performances especially against you know teams like liverpool and all those types of teams so i'm definitely happy with that as you can see i decide to um uh, Vela, Velios got a, got an offer from um, Aston Villa, and I decided to say yes because we do have an Ichibi, and we have a few other players who can really uh, go in his position. But right now, I am looking for a new striker. So if we look here, guys, I've gotten two um, things. I, I've got two players I could bring in. Neither of them I'm really too keen on, but I just wanted to ask you guys the question: Who do you think I should buy? I've got about 50 million to spend and a fair few uh, wage budget budget to spend. So who should I buy? I'm thinking a striker and a defender. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later.